Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at full page components inside Liveware 3. So full page components allow us to basically put all our code inside our Liveware components and we don't need to have a controller or have separate views that in import or include our Liveware components. So let's take a look at uh, full page components in action. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off by first actually creating two separate components. So I'm going to say uh, PHP artisan uh, live wire make and I'm going to create two pages maybe a home page component and then I'm going to do a users page component okay you could have you know as many as you would like 10 20 it's up to you now normally the old way of doing it the way we've been doing so far is if you wanted you had to basically go ahead on any of your pages and say a uh, live wire use the live wire directive and then say you know home page something like this this is how we've been doing it so far. And again, nothing wrong with this. And actually, if you want to have multiple components on the same page, you have to use this way. But with full page components, we no longer need to do that. We actually define the component on our routes. So let's go ahead and see how it's done with full page components. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my routes. And I'm going to create two separate routes. You can have as many as you like. And instead of basically returning a closure or a function or defining you know, your controllers here, we can just go ahead and return the component class name okay so here i'm going to say home page uh, class and then you can do the exact same thing for the users as well and i'm going to say users page class and by basically just defining these two you have created a full page component now the last step guys is you need to create a layout file that your components are going to extend so i'm going to go ahead and do that you can kind of repurpose this welcome.blade file, but I'm going to go ahead, create a new folder, name it layout, and then we can have multiple layouts as well. So I'm just going to say app.blade.php. Okay, now in our, for our layout, I'm going to go ahead and copy the code from welcome.blade, paste it in over here. And maybe we can actually, one thing I'm going to go ahead and do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and copy the Tailwind CDN. I have the link in the description if you guys want that. I'm just going to go ahead, copy the CSS, add it over here. So just we have, you know, a tailwind here. And then I'm going to go ahead and on Flowbyte, I'm going to go ahead and copy their navigation bar. Okay, I also have the link in the description. It's just a template free uh, template for tailwind. And I'm going to paste it over here. Now, if you guys have worked with uh, blade components or layouts, what you need to do, for example, wherever you have your main page content you can go ahead and add a dollar sign slot and your liver component will be replaced with dollar sign slot this is very similar to how you would normally create layouts right so now that we have created our layout file uh, we can go ahead and actually create our comp go ahead and set it on our component so i'm going to go ahead and open up our home page and we need to tell it where to find the layout and you can go ahead and use annotation so here i'm going to say uh, layout and import it from LiveWire attributes layout and then pass in your the relative path of your layout from the view directory. So it's going to be layout.app. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the exact same thing on the users page as well so we don't get an error. And I need to import layout. And that should basically get the job done, guys. So let's go ahead and test this out and see if it works. I'm going to reload the page and we get something like this. So we are seeing the page. However, to actually make sure we are able to see the homepage details, I'm going to go ahead and open up homepage and I'm going to add some, you know, uh, an H1 tag and then say homepage, something like this. And as you can see, we are on the homepage and I'm going to zoom in. So it is now working using full page components. And I'm going to go ahead and add something similar for our users page. And I'm going to say a users page. So I'm going to navigate there. And our users page is also working. So and both of them are using the layout file that we defined. Now, what about the page title at the top, right? Right now it's saying Laravel, maybe you want that to be dynamic, right? Now, there are many ways of doing it. You could maybe use the you, you know the request helper and find the current url it's going to be a mess one thing you can do you can add another additional attribute of a title that liver provides and then define your page title here so here i'm going to say uh you know hello youtube okay and this will go ahead and provide you a title variable inside your uh, template 
file. So here, what I can do is actually go ahead and say dollar sign title. Now this could be null. Maybe you forget to do it, pass it in on one of your components. So you can use the null operator and pass in a default. Maybe uh, I'm gonna say config app.name. Okay, so if you don't define it, just use my app name. And then if it's app name is also not defined, I don't know, you use Laravel, something like this. So this is how you can also define a title for your pages and then pass it in from your component. So let's go ahead and test this out. Unfortunately, this one might be a little bit slow, small. So let's take a look. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I, I need to go on my homepage, by the way. I didn't define it on the users page. So on the homepage, we get Hello YouTube. I go to the users page, we get Laravel. Now, if I want it on my users page as well, I can just go ahead, uh, copy this and add it to my users page component as well. And also the order is not that important, guys. You can have layout first, then title. Uh, it's not going to be an issue, okay? Don't worry about the ordering here. It, it's not important. And I'm going to reload. And as you can see, the user page is also became Hello YouTube. It might be small for some of you guys. I'm not sure actually how I can zoom in on this part, but it is indeed a user's page. Now, one more thing you could do is you can actually take this and move it down to above your render function. That is also possible. Technically, you could also do this, uh, have one on the top of your component and then one above render. Uh, both of these will also work. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but you can do that. So personally, for me, I think uh, just putting it above the component uh, class name is probably the cleanest and you can immediately see which layout file it is using. Now, Sometimes you may want to be dynamically during runtime, figure out the layout. Maybe you have like a team set up in your application and you have different teams. So this isn't like some hard coded value. What you could do in those cases is actually define them inside your render method. So the way it would work is you can go ahead and here say layout after your view function and then pass out, pass your layout path. So here it's going to be layout.app just like this. And if I go ahead and I reload, the application still works. Now, we did lose our title. So if you want to pass the title, basically there is a function or a method called title. You can call that in. And VS Code, for some reason, is struggling here. Uh, but basically, in the title, you can go ahead and pass in the same title name. Okay. And here, obviously, you have access to PHP code. So you can dynamically load that. So here, I'm just going to say YouTube. Okay. And as you can see, it is also working very nice. So the next thing I would like to cover, guys, is actually defining kind of a general purpose layout. So maybe you have one layout for your entire application. So instead of going ahead and kind of defining the layout every single time might be a bit annoying, you can just use a global layout file. And in order to do that, you need to actually publish the library configs. Okay, so uh, I hope I have the command memorized. It is on documentation as well, but you can go ahead and say php artisan live wire publish dash dash configs i think it's config right yeah and library will go ahead and publish its configuration so you can manually change them so i'm going to go ahead and open up this config and the config is going to be inside your config folder and then search for live wire okay or if you're on vs code or php storm you can just search for it up there and if you scroll down there is a config key of layout okay and this will be used as the layout for your full page components if you don't manually define it on top of the component. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove these on my home page. And I'm also, I already have removed it on the user's page. So right now, if I reload the page, we'll get an error and it is saying live wire page component layout not found. And it, as you can see, it says components or layouts app. So this is coming from that live wire config, right, right over here. So you can go ahead and change this or you can create the exact same naming if you like. In our case, because I'm using a different folder name and I did that on purpose so we would get the error, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, layout.app. Or you can use the exact the same default name library it comes with. And now that I have updated this, my full page components will automatically go ahead and use this layout here. Okay, so I'm going to reload the page and now it will be working. Now this won't give us the title, so you still need to go ahead and add the you know title annotation. But you don't need to define the layout annotation anymore which is nice okay so that is just something uh, to keep in mind and i'm gonna say test as you can see so that's one more thing now the last thing i want to cover guys is how to pass basically data from your routes or pass attributes or arguments so uh, let's take a look at an example route 
let's say in this user's route has accepts a user argument or an attribute so something like this how can you actually go ahead and get this on your component so this is going to be a common use case you may have so first of all you need to go ahead and define it on your route so i have already done this here and then to receive this user on your component i'm going to go ahead i'm going to close everything and only open up my users page component to receive it you can first go ahead and define a public property of the same name it's not important but i'm going to go ahead and do that so i'm going to say a uh, user and then in order to actually receive it you can go ahead and define the mount function i have a video about the mount function guys so i'm going to say public function mount is basically like a constructor in livewire and then here you can go ahead and receive the user just like this now similar to controllers it also does support uh, route model binding so here i can actually go ahead and import the user model and library will, will go ahead and do the model binding for us and then you can go ahead and say something like this dot user equals you know user something like that and you can also make it nullable if you want and to kind of test this out i'm going to go ahead and open up our uh, users page and print out the user's name okay just so we can see that it does actually work so i'm gonna say a p a user dot name now i don't think i have any users on my database so we can go ahead and actually fix that real quick i'm gonna go ahead and find the cedar on comment this out so we can have some users and i'm gonna say php artisan migrate artisan migrate yes and then i'm going to go ahead and basically run the seeder so we can have like 10 test users so i'm going to say php artisan db seed so now that we have that we can actually go ahead and test this out super easy so i'm going to come over here uh, i'm going to go on my users page and i'm going to first give it like a you know invalid user id some big number and it gives us not found so it is doing the route model binding right so it didn't find a user of the same name but i'm going to give it one for a user one and we actually get lu zulov something like that okay so that's actually how you can add a uh, route model binding or basically pass an attribute or an argument from your url down to your component okay now if you would like since php 8 uh, you can actually kind of go ahead and i think in live 2 also we had this functionality you can just go ahead and remove this and just maybe define something like user and this is kind of a shorthand version you can remove the mount boilerplate code and this makes your component a little bit shorter and if we reload functionality wise this is exactly identical to the mount as a matter of fact you can even go ahead and remove the render if you are using the default name that library generated so you can even go ahead and remove this <laughs> and your component will be super small the only thing you need to add is the title which uh, we can go ahead and do that and here say a users page something like that now in this case you may want to do you do want to basically use the uh, title function that i showed you to dynamically find you know pass in the user's actual name but that is something you can do for sure and yeah and that is it guys for full page components i think i covered everything you need to know how to do the configuration define a global component again how to manually uh, you know dynamically pass the title as you can see i'm going to go ahead and do it here i'm going to say uh, this dot user name and now we are passing the user's name as the page title if that is something you want to know do and yeah we got lua zolo at the top and i'm going to try to zoom in with obs if i can and yeah so that's it guys for today's episode hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below and i appreciate it appreciate it if you guys like the video and subscribe so you get notified of the latest videos on the channel and i see you guys on the next video have a great day bye